photosynthesis. Autotrophic mode of nutrition. Plants produce their food within them. Therefore, it is called autotrophic mode of nutrition. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition is known to be the mode of nutrition in which certain organisms are dependent on other organisms in order to survive. Utilizing the energy from sunlight, the cells containing chlorophyll in green plants synthesize food using carbon dioxide and water as raw materials. This process is called photosynthesis. Factors that affect photosynthesis Sunlight Chlorophyll Carbon dioxide Water How to get water for photosynthesis Water in the soil is absorbed through root hairs by osmosis. The absorbed water then travels into root xylem through cortex and endodermis. From their water is transported into massophil cells of leaves via the xylem of stem and the veins of leaves. The network of veins in the leaves distributes water throughout the leaf. How to get carbon dioxide for photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide is obtained from the atmosphere for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide diffuses into leaf through stomata. Then it reaches the massophil cells via intercellular spaces. How to get sunlight for photosynthesis? The special green pigment called chlorophyll found in the chloroplasts in plant cells absorb energy from sunlight. Products of photosynthesis glucose, oxygen. The glucose produced during photosynthesis will be temporarily stored as starch in leaves. Later, part of that starch is converted into sucrose and transport into other tissues, via flow M. The sucrose that is transported to storing organs are again stored as starch. Photosynthesis can be expressed by a word equation as given below. absorb red and blue light of sunlight during photosynthesis. Identify starch produced during photosynthesis. Pluck a leaf from a plant which was in sunlight and boil in water. Place it in the Tessa tube with alcohol and boil in a water bath. the leaf and put few drops of iodine solution onto it and observe the color change. If the leaf turns to blue or dark purple, once iodine is added, we can conclude that starch is present in the leaf. Experiment to show oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. Add water into the beaker. Then place hydrilla or valizandria inside the funnel. Fill a boiling tube with water and place it inverted on the funnel as in the video. Place the setup in sunlight. The tube will be taken out and a glowing splinter is inserted to test whether it is oxygen. The splinter will burn with a bright flame. So we can conclude that the gas given out in photosynthesis is oxygen.
abundance of photosynthesis. It is the number one source of oxygen in the atmosphere. It contributes to the carbon cycle between the earth, the oceans, plants and animals. It contributes to the symbiotic relationship between plants, humans and animals. It directly or indirectly affects most life on earth. It serves as the primary energy process for most trees and plants.